Today I am going to be showing you how to use the Dyson Air Wrap. I will be covering all of it. Every attachment, every heat setting, every airflow. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you my own Dyson Air Wrap tutorial, how I transform my hair from looking like this to looking like this. So this is the $550 Dyson Airwrap. It is as complicated as it is expensive. Not only do you get a blow dryer attachment, but you also get two different sizes of curling barrels. You get the round volumizing brush, you get the soft smoothing brush and the firm smoothing brush. And unlike your traditional curling iron and hair straightener, the Dyson Airwrap uses air to dry and style your hair. And it does all of that without using any extreme heat. There is actually a sensor in the air wrap that measures the temperature of the air 40 times per one second to make sure that the temperature does not get above 150 degrees. The air wrap is also supposed to make your hair feel exceptionally smooth, voluminous, and frizz free. On the handle, there are three knobs that you can use to adjust the intensity of the air and the temperature. The next video is gonna be a really deep dive into whether or not the Dyson air wrap is worth worth $550. So to make sure that you guys don't miss my next video, make sure you subscribe below. The first attachment that we are going to be discussing is the pre-styling dryer. This is the attachment that you are supposed to use first to bring your hair from wet to damp. Technically, you don't need to use it first just because all of the attachments are going to dry your hair anyways. But if you want to reduce the amount of direct heat that is being applied to your hair, then you can use the pre-styling dryer until your hair is about 70% dry. And then you can move on to the next attachment that you're going to use. So the thing with the air wrap is that the attachments work a lot better when your hair is damp. So because of that you do not want to fully dry your hair with the pre-styling dryer if you plan on using for example the firm smoothing brush or the round volumizing brush just any of the attachments in the Dyson Airwrap set to use the pre-styling dryer for my hair I just use the high heat and the high airflow to remove the attachment it's really, really easy. All you do is move this little switch to unlock and then pull off the dryer. It is literally that easy. And to put the attachment on the air wrap, you literally just, like you don't even have to press anything. It is incredibly user-friendly. So now we're going to be talking about what the air wrap is most known for, and that is their curling barrels. So there's actually a lot of technology and engineering that goes behind this curling barrel. And I think that this is really what makes the air wrap the luxurious high-end hair tool that it is known to be. Basically, the engineers at Dyson used what is called the Kawanda effect to create this mechanism here. And the Kawanda effect occurs when you have a flow of air that attaches to a surface. And even when the surface curves, the flow of air continues to stay attached to the surface. This Kawanda effect is what keeps your hair wrapped around the barrel as you're curling it. And it's what allows you to literally just put the barrel here and let it pick up your hair. Like you don't even have to manually wrap it around all because of the Kawanda effect. Now this makes the air wrap incredibly easy to use. Another plus is that this thing never gets too hot. So even if I've had it on my hair for 20 seconds on high heat, I can still touch it without burning myself. I mean, I don't wanna like 
hold it for a long period of time, but I can just touch it to make sure that my hair is fully dry and it just will not burn my skin at all. The interesting thing about this and just another thing that really sets the Dyson Airwrap in a completely separate lane from any other hair tool that I have ever used or seen is that you actually get two of each size of the curling barrel. The reason for that is because one of the barrels allows you to curl your hair clockwise and then the other barrel of the same size allows you to curl your hair counterclockwise. Now why would this be useful? When you're curling your hair, you want to curl one side in one direction. But then when you go to the other side, you don't want to then curl your hair in the same exact direction as you curled the other side. So with the Dyson Airwrap, because it comes with one barrel that curls counterclockwise and one that curls clockwise, you can use the counterclockwise on one side and then once you're done curling your hair on that side, you can then take the attachment out and use the clockwise attachment and curl your other side of hair and it is effortless, it requires no trying to remember which direction you're curling which side of your hair. You literally just switch the barrel and it's that easy. They also sell attachments that you can buy for longer hair. So I actually have purchased those attachments and here is the size difference between the two. So you can clearly tell that these ones are for longer hair and then these ones are for shorter hair. Obviously, the thinner the barrel, the tighter the curl, the wider the barrel, the more loose the curl is going to be. With the curling barrels, you are not going to get the super tight ringlet curls. You are going to get looser curls, more voluminous curls. It's more so going to be wavy and this attachment is really what gives you that blowout look that the air wrap is known for. So don't don't be deceived by the fact that I am calling this the curling barrels. Yes, that's what they are, but by no means is this going to curl your hair to the extent that a regular curling iron would curl your hair. So to use the curling attachments, you are going to section your hair. The smaller the section, the better. Also, you want your hair to be damp. You can use this on dry hair, but if you use it on damp hair, the wave or the curl just won't fall as soon. So first you want to turn the air wrap all the way up to the maximum airflow and the maximum heat. And you can either let the air wrap grab your hair at the end itself, or you can manually wrap your hair around the air wrap. I personally just prefer to let the air wrap pick up my hair itself because it is so incredibly easy. And when the air wrap is fully wrapped in your hair, you want to keep the air wrap on high heat for as long as it takes for that strand of hair to dry. This may be 10 seconds, it may be 20 seconds, but you you just need to make sure that your hair is 100% dry before you get to the next step. Then you want to do a cool shot of air. So there is a little knob on the air wrap where you can just press up and you kind of just hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then once you're done with the cool shot of air, you want to shut the air wrap off and then you can release the curl. So next we have the volumizing round brush. You would use this attachment if you want more of a voluminous look with less of a wave than what the curling barrels are gonna give you. So you wanna section your hair and then dry one strand of hair just by brushing the round brush through. And then once your hair is dry, you just wanna take the round volumizing brush at the ends of your hair and just wrap your hair in the brush and then you can release your hair out of the brush and that is what is going to give you the little curl at the bottom of your hair. And then just like with the curling barrels you also want to do a shot of cold air 10 seconds before you shut the barrel off 
This attachment is comparable to the Revlon One Step, but this is going to give you tighter waves than what the Revlon tool can give you. Does this work? Yes, this absolutely works, but this is actually my least favorite attachment in the entire air wrap set. And that is because my hair is just really long. And when I use this, it gives me a small curl at the end of my hair, but that's it and it just because my hair is so long it just looks a little bit strange to have a very tight curl at the end of my hair if you have shorter hair if you have medium length hair this will work amazingly for you also if you have bangs this would be like an amazing tool to use to like style bangs if you have the type of hair that would work well with this then i think that this is actually going to be a very useful tool now we have the final two attachments the firm smoothing brush and the soft smoothing brush the firm smoothing brush is for frizzy and as they refer to it on the dyson website unruly hair the intention with this attachment is for you to get a smoother straighter style with less frizz to use this attachment you just want to section your hair the smaller the section the better and you want to use this on the underside of the section and then also on the top of the section and just run it through your hair like you would a regular hairbrush you can start on high heat on the highest airflow setting and then you can lock the style in by doing the cold shot for 10 seconds you can also curl the ends with the firm smoothing brush or the soft smoothing brush um, and I actually love this attachment sometimes I will just dry my hair a little bit and then I will exclusively use this and it just works really well to give you that straight look but I will warn you guys if you have really really curly hair if your hair is like very 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 frizzy very 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 thick this is not going to straighten your hair completely also this will never give you the same type of straightening effect as a flat iron like if you want that pin straight like share in the 1970s, I can promise you that you're not gonna get it with this. Before I get into how I use the air wrap on my hair, I just wanna show you guys the products that I use to style my hair when I'm using the air wrap. So first, obviously you're gonna wanna use a heat protectant and the heat protectant that I have been using is Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. I really like this for the air wrap in particular because the air wrap helps to smooth out my hair and it makes it voluminous. And you, you don't wanna use something that is gonna weigh down your hair. The bonding oil does not weigh it down, but it does provide that heat protection and it also makes my hair very sleek. It complements the salon blowout effect that the air wrap has on your hair. Another thing that I recommend for you to use is the Color Wow Dream Coat. So this is something that you apply on your hair before you style it when it's still damp. But basically this is kind of similar to the bonding oil in that it really complements the air wrap. It does that because it makes your hair incredibly shiny and that is great for when you are using the air wrap because for example, the smoothing brush on the air wrap that is really gonna smooth out your hair and although it's not going to straighten your hair completely, it will smooth it out and by using the dream coat, that will help to make it look like you really did use a hair straightener if that's the look that you're going for. Another thing that I recommend is some sort of volumizing product since the air wrap does make your hair a lot more voluminous so you would want to use a product to complement that the product that I have for that is the inky list peptide volumizing hair treatment this is something that you just apply on the roots of your hair I have no idea how it works but somehow it literally makes your hair more voluminous this is gonna be great for those who have thin hair or flat hair and it's really just gonna complement the voluminous effect that the air wrap gives you. The very last thing that I want to mention is a product that you should not use on your hair with the air wrap. So this is the Gizu 
honey infused hair oil. This is extremely popular on social media and it is also extremely expensive and it is also something that you should not use with the air wrap because it is very heavy and it's gonna weigh down your hair. If I use this with the air wrap, it totally defeats the purpose. So just any type of oil or serum that tends to weigh your hair down, you wanna stay far away from when it comes to using the air wrap. For the air wrap, I personally don't like to use hairspray, like the hairspray that makes your hair crunchy, because when I am using the curling barrel on the air wrap, I am not going for the tight, tight curls. So I don't really need the curl to stay in. As a matter of fact, I really like the way my hair looks about two hours after using the air wrap when the curl has fallen a little bit and it just looks a lot more natural for my hair and just a lot more relaxed. And so because of that, I do not use hairspray with the air wrap. I just use a light serum. Um, the one that I really like to use is the Kerastase Elixir Ult Ultim Ult Ultimate. I, I don't know. It's just this hair oil. And if you don't have this, you can just use any light serum or oil that won't weigh down your hair. Now I'm going to show you guys how I style my hair using the air wrap. The very first thing I do is I use a heat protectant. I am going to be using the Olaplex bonding oil. This is what I have been using every single time that I use the air wrap and I have had a lot of luck with it. It makes my hair really smooth. I just highly recommend this. Then I use the pre-styling dryer on high heat for about three minutes just until my hair is 70% dry. Then I section my hair in two parts and I run the soft smoothing brush through the top of my hair where I get the most frizz. I try to just focus on the top of my hair because that's really where all of the frizz is, but it's kind of hard to just use the brush on one part of your hair because you have to pull it through the rest. So usually I just end up using it mainly on my roots, but then just pulling it through my hair and lightly using it on the ends. And when I'm using the soft smoothing brush, I make sure that it's not fully drying my hair because the curling barrels work best when you have damp hair. So then I use the curling barrels and I like to use the wider barrel and I'm using the attachment for longer hair. So I'm going to start from the top and I do very, very small sections because that just helps to give me a tighter curl. Whereas if I do a large section, it's going to, it will almost always fall flat within like an hour. The way that I curl my hair is usually I just let the air wrap pick up my hair itself. I leave it on high heat on the highest airflow intensity for about, I wanna say 15, 20 seconds. You can touch the barrel when you're drying it and I you know, encourage you to do that just to make sure you know when it's dry. And then once it's dry, I do a shot of cold air and I do that for 10 seconds. Then I shut the air wrap off. I release it while I'm still holding the curl. And then I pin down the curl on my head. I repeat that throughout my entire head of hair. Obviously on one side, I'm using the clockwise attachment. And then when I get to the other side of my hair, I use the counterclockwise attachment. And I am just doing pin curls on all of my hair. The thing with the air wrap is that it is not a curling iron. So for those of us who have really long hair, for those of you who have extremely thick hair, the air wrap is going to give you a very loose wave. To combat that, I do pin curls. I do pin curls all over my hair and then I wait about an hour and I take them out. Oh, also one thing that I wanted to mention about the air wrap. It's really important when you're using the air wrap to make sure that your hair is sectioned off. So the curling barrel especially, um, you wanna make sure that every single piece of hair that you are not curling is away. Um, and the reason for that is because when you're using the air wrap, it is blowing air. So the Kawanda effect can cause the air wrap to pick up more hair than it needs to. So to avoid that, just keep your hair away and up. And then when I take out the pin curls, I sometimes use the Kerastase elixir, but not always. Like a lot of times I just don't 
even need to use it. If I want more of a sleek look, I will use the elixir. If I want more of a voluminous look, I will just not use anything or I will use the Inkey List Volumizing Serum. All right, you guys. So this has been the in-depth tutorial on how to use the Dyson Airwrap. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be making a part two where I break it down for you guys, given your hair type, your financial situation, whether or not the air wrap is worth it for you. So again, thank you so much for watching. I love all of you and I'll talk to you guys next time.